This is the new Mongoose firing system alongside the new FW32 and the 3S4. This video will be a quick tutorial on how to properly use the Mongoose with the two firing systems. Power up the system using the switch on the back. Immediately upon powering up you'll notice the password. All you'll do is enter your correct password to uh, service the digital key and unlock it. Once you properly enter the correct digital key, the system will do its self-test and run through all the circuits to make sure everything is good to go. The next step is to power on your firing modules. And it, same as the Mongoose, when you power it up, it'll do its self-test to make sure all the circuits are safe and reliable. Once it's set up, you'll notice the blue light starts to flash when the system is ready to go. The first step will be to test the network to see which systems are actually powered on. In order to test the network, all you have to do is press the test button, the orange button, and then go. And you'll notice that it's detecting two systems. It's detecting our 32Q system and it's also detecting my 3S4 which is a small actor worn device. For this portion of the video we're going to go ahead and concentrate on the 32Q system. Now that you've currently tested the network and we've detected the two firing systems we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the actual status of that firing system. Now that you've tested the network, we can go ahead and test the individual module. You can actually navigate up and down on this menu to all the available systems. We're going to go with the module 1, which is the 32Q system. To do that, all you do is move the cursor to the firing system and hit go. And here's the, all the display information, the firing system, the serial number, the power and the um, signal quality of the receiver. It's showing you it's disarmed and it's in full stop mode. It's also saying that there's no cues connected. All right, so now the next step after you've gone ahead and you've um, tested the individual module, we're ready to tell the Mongoose exactly what module you, you want to fire. Now you can fire you know, multiple units, you can fire one, you can fire them in sequence, you can fire them in step, or you can fire them in manual. For this video demonstration, we're going to go ahead and fire the 32Q um, Module 1 in um, manual and in step mode. So to start, we're going to tell the system which module to fire, and MOD stands for module. We're going to go ahead and hit 1. Now it gives more detailed information. Of course, it's disarmed, it's telling you, so we're going to go ahead and arm it right now. The arm light comes on. We're going to hit a, a retest here. And you can see it shows up armed. Okay, so now it is showing armed. You're ready to go. Now you have your choice to make, whether you're going to fire it manually or in step, or if you're going to go ahead and fire it in sequence or group. We're going to do this one in Q mode which will turn it manual or in step mode. And as you can see, we've got all 32 buttons lit up, which tie up to the 32 uh, cues on the firing system. So to fire manual mode, all you do is you push one button at a time, and they, uh, they go out as you uh, hit it. You can jump around if you want. You don't have to do it in order. So um, this was in manual mode. The next series we're going to fire in step mode. And to do step mode, I'm going to connect up the uh, little hand trigger, which also serves as a dead man switch when you fire this in script mode. 
the, the trigger will connect into this um, mil spec connector at the top. So I've gone ahead and I've connected up the hand trigger to the mil spec connector. Again, we're still armed, we're ready to go. All I have to do is push the cue. It'll light up all 32 cues. Basically now, since it's armed, the module's ready to go. All I have to do is So the next part of this video, we're going to just do a real quick test video so you can actually see these things firing off real matches. Uh, you power this thing on like normal, it does its self test, and now you see that the, the lights are on steady, flashing like that. That means it's detecting four goodie matches. Okay, the same thing on this, test the matches on this. So you can test them either at the, at the module itself or or and at the mongoose. So we're gonna to go to the mongoose. I've already entered, uh, entered the uh, the passcode, so we're ready to test it. Okay, so it's detected the uh, address one and address two, and it's actually saying four uh, matches are okay. The arrow is on, so it's saying that um, it wants you to uh, take a look at individual modules like normal. So we're just going to go so it takes a look at the first one. Again, the status is 100%, 100%. Four matches okay, zero errors. However, it's disarmed. So what we're going to do is we're going to arm. You notice both lights went on and armed. We're going to retest. Now both ACEs are showing up. And again, it's armed. At this point, we're going to go ahead and go to group fire because we're firing the, uh, the uh, 3S4s. The four lights showed up. I'm sorry, the the, the two systems, four cues each showed up, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight on the second module. And we're gonna space these out a little bit. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test the 32Q system. Okay, so we've now added the um, the FW32, which is our 32Q system. I just connected four matches in, one through four. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and do another test fire. Um, this one, I'm gonna do something kind of different. I'm gonna fire it in um, that sequence, which is a machine gun, which is one one hundredth of a second, just to show you how fast it would look if it were actually to blast off, uh, you know, on a show. So we're gonna go ahead and Test the network again. And of course it's detecting the first, uh, the first module. It's saying four cues are detected. We're gonna hit go to go to that particular module. So you can see right here, one through 10, the zeros count for matches. The blanks are um, either dead E matches or no E matches connected. So it's saying 28 not connected, four are connected. Okay, again, 100%, 100%. However, it's disarmed. So we're gonna go ahead and hit arm. The arm light comes on, retest. The A shows up, hit go to that particular module. And the same information. So. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how you can test the, on the, the 32Q module, how you can test continuity on just the mongoose without having to go to the module. All you do is you hit the, the Q here. And you can see the green light show up. 
The green indicates that um, not only are matches connected, but it's armed. If these were actually, if it was in disarm mode, these would be orange. So let's show you what that looks like. Okay, so I just went ahead and I disarmed it and you can see they're orange. Now, when you arm it, okay, the lights will still stay orange until you do a retest. So we're gonna have to basically go back to it, module, it's module one, and go to Q. And we're back to green. Now, go to the sequence mode. It's in armed state, we're armed. When I hit this, it's gonna fire all four very, very fast. Three, two, one. And that's pretty darn fast. So as you can tell, this system has a lot of benefits. It's very small, this is very light. The uh, tiny little modules here can fit in the small pocket of an actor. Uh, you can wrap this thing in a little ca in a little case to protect the actor and um, the uh, equipment. However, you can see it's also all the electronics is actually uh, laced in an acrylic, so it's um, very sturdy. Batteries are rechargeable in both systems.